Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. In this session, we are going to see about some timer example. So before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. So without any delay, we'll move on to the example. So example one. When switch 1 is pressed, lamp 1 is on for 5 seconds and lamp 2 is on for on after 5 seconds. So here we have 1 input and 2 outputs. 1 has to turn on when the switch is immediately on. See here they have given the word called for. For means what? It should only on for 5 seconds. After that it has to off. And uh, lamp 2 is on after 5 seconds of switch 1. So let's go to the CX programmer. So I have I have taken one switch here. So we'll add the lamp one first. Lamp one, right? So this has to on immediately when the switch is on. All right. So let's take the same input again, and we'll turn on a timer. This is an on delay timer and I'm naming the timer as 0 and uh, will give the time duration of 5 seconds. Since it is a 100 milliseconds timer, I have to give 50 here so that I will get 5 seconds. So, alright, we got it. So, connect the contact and the timer. Now, this particular output have to turn on after 5 seconds. So, what does that mean? With the timer, with the use of timer contact, I need to turn off this lamp. One. So, what I can do? I can use the normally closed contact of our timer contact. That's it. So, what will happen? When the switch is on, immediately lamp will on. But the timer is also on. So, after 5 seconds, the timer output will turn on. Using that particular output, I am going to turn off lamp 1. Understood? So, now what, what we have to do? So, after timer has turned on, we have to turn on the lamp 2. That's it. Very simple timer example. So, by using timer, we are going to turn on one input and turn off another, sorry, not input, output. By using a timer, we are going to turn on one of the output and turning off another output, turning on and turning off. Understood? So, let's go for the simulation mode. So, this lamp one is going to on only for 5 seconds and this is going to on after 5 seconds. So, let's turn on our input. So, this is immediately on. Okay. So, this is on and after 5 seconds it will go off and a lamp two is going to turn on after 5 seconds. Alright. So, if we turn on, so everything will go off. So, I will repeat. I am going to turn on this. This is going to on for 5 seconds and this is going to on after 5 seconds. So, I hope you have understood this example. I will meet you in the next session with another example. Thank you.